Hey guys, it's me, Edward Vane, and for today we are going to review Deep Cool's latest 65% mechanical keyboard, the KG722. Alright guys, let's go. Alright guys, let's unbox this thing. So, there's a small slit over here. Let's open. Oh. Okay, there it is. Alright, so this is a wired keyboard, by the way. Wow, it's heavier than I thought. Look at that. Nice. Has some nice weight to it. Now, let's take a look at the wires for a minute. Okay. So, as you can see here, here's the wire. It's braided, by the way. No design whatsoever, just a plain black braid. And they also have a keycap puller as well. And they have a manual as well, okay? So, you get braided cable, keycap puller, manual and the keyboard itself. Looks pretty nice. Alright guys, here is the keyboard. As you can see, all of the letters are at the side of the keycaps, not at the top. Now, at first, I really thought that these top parts will light up just like reverse putting keycaps. But sadly, they don't. So I really wonder why all of these letters are at the side. Because Normally, the only reason why people put the letters of the keycaps at the side is because they have reverse putting keycaps. So I'm a little, just a little bit disappointed with that. And, you know, the RGB is amazing. So this would have been a lot cooler if they had reverse putting keycaps on it. But, you know, maybe they are a bit expensive. And as you know, we keyboard enthusiasts usually change the keycaps of our mechanical keyboards. I do want to mention that this is 65%, meaning that it could be a little hard to find the keycaps that will match this thing, since, you know, the Alt, Fn, and Control, and Shift button are smaller. Okay. But when it comes to RGB, like I said, it is phenomenal. It has multiple lighting modes. I really can't count them because there are so many and it's hard to go back to the one I want because this this is not the default version but this is like I think the second option and I think this is amazing. Now when it comes to the sound and stabilizers that's next so let's see how this sounds. Alright guys here is a quick typing test. Again this is a 65% keyboard so I'm not that fast with this okay so let's begin. Alright, not bad, so let's just, you know, try to make sound using this. I have to say, I like the flock. Not that loud, but I like it. And it's really, really stable. I mean, it's not rattly, and check out the spacebar. That sounds great! Backspace. Enter. Alright, last but not least, the shift. Okay, shift uh, from the left side, of course. Unbelievable. This is incredible. The stabilizers are great. Now, like I said, this is a red switch keyboard, so it's a little bit sensitive, but not in a super sensitive way unlike those cheap mechanical keyboards that you see. The RGB is great. The sound, I do I do like the sound because it's louder than the average red switch. But of course the Echo Jelly Blacks are for me the best Focky switches here. Unfortunately this thing is not hot swappable so you, you can't do anything with the sound but you can just mod it and I will mod it in a later video. Alright guys, here are my overall thoughts of the keyboard. This keyboard has a lot of pros and cons. So let's start with the cons and end this with a high note. So the cons or you know the disadvantages. It's not hot swappable. 
that is a major turn off for mechanical keyboard enthusiasts like me because we really want to change the switches. It's what makes, you know, modding a keyboard fun, changing the feel and sound. Now, the sound of this mechanical keyboard is good. They're, they are Gatoran reds, but, you know, I really think it would have been a lot better if they made us choose the sound and feel of our keyboard. But like I said, these are Gatoran reds, so they are, you know, decent, maybe even good for some. Now, another thing is that they started out with a 65% keyboard. Now, what's wrong with that? The problem with a 65% keyboard is it's very hard to find the right keycaps for them. When you are finding keycaps for a 60% keyboard or a 100% or a TKL or 75, uh, it's very easy because all of the keycaps have the same size. But for this mechanical keyboard, the right side, Alt, Control, and Fn, and the Shift are a bit different in size. So you really have to find a specific keycap for this mechanical keyboard. And there are no feet on this mechanical keyboard, no kickstands at all. So it's actually a little bit flat. So you can put something below it, but it just feels awkward. All keyboards nowadays have kickstands or feet, and they are all hot swallowable, cheap or expensive. So those are my two gripes. Well, actually, in total, there are three. So it's the keycaps, the hot swappability, and of course, the feet. Now, let's take a look at the pros. The RGB is absolutely incredible. They are very nice and bright with a lot of lighting modes. So if you like RGB, you have to love this keyboard. Wow. Okay. And I also like the detachable USB. My old keyboard was, you know, detachable. So it's very easy for me to set up this mechanical keyboard as well. And I also like, you know, the build of this thing. It really feels durable. And it doesn't actually feel hollow at all. It feels solid. So maybe for some, you actually don't need to tape mode or foam mod this. Okay. We'll see what kind of mods I will do to it. All right. So other than that, do I recommend this keyboard to you? Well, if you are a mechanical keyboard enthusiast, I do have to say maybe this keyboard is not for you because, again, it's not hot swappable. But if you are a person that's looking for her first keyboard or you're just looking for, you know, a decent, amazing, nice keyboard, then you should go for this keyboard. So again, Rig Enthusiast, I don't recommend it, but you can buy it if you want. And for people who want to buy their first mechanical keyboard, or if people want a slight upgrade, then this is a keyboard for you. Once again, shop the links below, and the prices will depend on which region you are here in the Philippines. Okay, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching my video. I'm Edward Vane. Please subscribe for more of my product reviews. Okay, guys, bye!